Welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're having a CUBE conversation in our Palo Alto studios. We're waiting for the crazy madness of the second half uh, conference season to begin. But before that, it's nice we get a little bit of a break in the action and we can have people into our, into our studio in Palo Alto. We're really excited to have our next guest really adding to this journey that we've been kind of watching over a course of many years with Informatica. She's Tracy Newell. She's the newly announced president, uh, Global Field Operations for Informatica. Tracy, great to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thanks. Absolutely. So we've been following Informatica for a long time. I think our first uh, visit to Informatica World was 2015. Yep. Um, back when it was still a public company, I think it was Info, which still has this legacy. That's the hashtag it's for the show, which does. is kind of funny because it's not really a, a, a stock ticker anymore. Um, so it's been quite a journey and really, really well timed with kind of the big data revolution. You joined the board a couple of years ago. I did, 2016. But, but you decided to leave Mahogany Row and, and take off the board outfit and jump in and get on the field and get dirty. So why did you decide to, uh, to get into the nitty gritty? Yeah, so I, I joined the board because I really believe in the mission. So you know, digital transformation is something that's real. It's a boardroom discussion. Every enterprise and government around the world is trying to figure this out. And so I wanted to be a part of that. And I've been been—I've had a front row seat for a couple of years. Right, and right. I'm not one to sit on the sidelines for very long. And I, I thought this is just too much fun and I want to get in the game. So I asked to, to step down and uh, I've recently joined as a president of Global Field Ops. Great, so your background is uh, a little bit of confusion doing the history is a lot of sales. You've been running sales for a lot of different companies, been in the Valley for a while, but sales is really under you. So you haven't really left your sales hat. That's just part of now a bigger role that you're going to be doing with Informatica. Yeah, that's right. It's a, it's a bigger and broader role, um, but I, my favorite thing is is running sales organizations. So I've done other things too. I've run operations and customer success, but right. uh, I was thrilled to join and also run professional services as well, because that's so important to the right. delivery of, for our customers. So you go right to digital transformation, it's, it's the hot topic, it's what everybody is talking about, and it's true, and it, it is, as informatic is in the middle of it, data is such a big piece mm -hmm. of the digital transformation. As, as everybody we used to joke, there are no companies except software companies. I think we're taking it to the next step. Now there are no software companies, really everybody should be a data company, and Informatica is sitting right in the middle of that world. No, that's right. Yeah, data is the new currency. It's become one of the most important asset for enterprises. Everyone's trying to transform. They're trying to disrupt. They're trying to take on the leader or they're trying to keep their lead. Right. And they need all the information throughout their entire organization in order to do that. And so, you know, one of the stories that I really like, uh, Graham Thompson's our CIO, and he talks to lots of CIOs, and he'll use this analogy in that the uh, most, you know, he'll say, does your CFO have good uh, containment strategy around their most important asset, and that's revenue. Do does your CFO, your you know, he or she know where all the data is, and and inevitably, you know, the CIO will say, of course. Well, that's great. Does he know or she know how they're spending the money and who's spending the money, and do they have controls and compliance and security around that? And of course, the answer is yes, 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 and yes. And right. and then it inevitably turns to the CIO to say, well, if data is your most important asset, if that truly is the currency in your organization, do you know where all of your data is? And the answer is always no. And there's lots of reasons for that. It's most enterprises have hundreds, if not thousands of databases and right. shadow IT projects everywhere. Right. But if the answer is no, then how do you take advantage and leverage that information to the company's advantage? How do you control it? How do you have compliance? And that's where we come in. Right, so what's the Informatica special sauce? What's the, the secret sauce that you guys can bring to the party that nobody else can? Yeah, so I, I think inevitably that would be the platform, so our intelligent data platform is really important to the enterprise. The CIOs that I've been meeting with for the last decade have said, you know, I, I can't have 10 widgets that are all solving a similar problem because it's just too expensive. I, I need to bet with the leader in the space. And so what we're doing uh, to provide that for our enterprises is really important. And yet at the same time, you've got to be the best at what you do. You can't just be comprehensive, but you have to have best of breed technology. And we're spending 17 cents of every dollar in R&D. And we're so focused on just this one thing. Our mission is to lead in digital transformation for the large enterprise. And, and we've been doing this for 25 years, so we've spent billions of dollars in making sure our customers are invested in us and that we protect that investment. Right, so what is your charge as, as you, you're starting a new role? I think the press release just came out a couple of days ago. 
Um, you know, what, what does Anil say to you? You know, we want you, here's where we want you to go, take down that next mountain. What are some of your short-term priorities? What are some of your longer-term priorities? Yeah, so we, we have a great opportunity in front of us. So uh, stating the obvious, I'm here to drive growth and expansion, both in uh, market share opportunities. We have over 9,000 customers globally, right, and yet right. we all know that there's a tremendous opportunity to continue to drive market shares. This is a global phenomenon. Uh, and yet our largest customers, we have 85 of the Fortune 100, uh, they certainly need a lot of support and we're here to help provide thought leadership. And um, we, we do a lot of best practice sharing. We do a lot around helping customers on their journeys because we see these themes given that we do work for the, with right. the largest companies around right. the world. And, and I'm sure you're going to be getting on a plane and meeting with a whole bunch of customers over the next over the next several weeks and months. But was there something from the, your board position that you could see that was a consistent pattern that you really see an opportunity for growth, kind of an unexploited uh, opportunity as people are going through this digital transformation? Because we talk all the time, and it's how do I get started, and you know how do I have small projects to give me early success, and and kind of those types of conversations. But clearly, we're kind of beyond the beginning and we should be starting to move down the field a little bit. Yeah, certainly. So we we work with all the global SIs and, and we won't ever try to take their place. You know, Accenture, Deloitte, Capgemini, right, Cognizant, right. They're, they're tremendous at what they do and we partner with them very well. Um, but we've absolutely seen consistent themes as we work with these big enterprises. I mean, we've seen Coca-Cola work on delivering new packaging for the World Cup where they drove exponential sales and they wanted to use the power of all of their data, the data in the cloud, the data that they have on premise, the data in all the SaaS applications, and that's where we come in and really help them, helping them to leverage uh, all of their information and to do that in an intelligent way. Uh, and so we've seen several patterns emerge, uh, how customers can get started, and we've created a series of, of workshops and summits and specialists that we, we consult on a pro forma basis in, right. in helping customers figure out where those quick wins are. And there's a couple of key big buckets. Um, we see most large enterprise moving from on-premise to cloud, and they're trying right. to figure out a migration strategy, so we help a lot there. Uh, most customers are trying to figure out how to get closer to their customers. So we, we do a lot of work around customer intimacy. Intimacy could be driving the top line, cross-sell, upsell, or even customer retention. Um, BNP Paribas did a lot of work with us there around um, getting closer to, you know, in their, in their wealth practice. And, and then uh, we do quite a bit around governance, as you would expect. Right, uh, right. That's a hot topic with GDPR. Again, if, if you can't say you know where all your data is, well then how can you be compliant? Right. How, how can, can you, you delete me? How can you delete me <laughs> if, if you don't know where your data right. is? So there's a number of practices that we've set up and, and we'll do some, some not for fee uh, consulting work to help customers try and figure this out. Yeah, clearly uh, when we first met Informatica in 2015, you know, the cloud was, was moving the public cloud, but it, was, what, it wasn't near where it is today. Um, and I guess you guys just had a recent announcement, Google Cloud Next is coming up in a couple of weeks, and so you guys are now doing some stuff with, uh, with Google Cloud. We are, yeah, so we're, we're pretty good listeners. Yeah. I think that's important. If you're going to be a business partner to, to your clients, you got to know what they want. And right. one of the things the clients have said to us is, we need you to partner with, with our partners. You know, the days of proprietary and sole source, you know, we're going to be everything to you without working with anyone, those right. days are over. Right. And so. Uh, the key cloud partners our customers have asked us to work with include Amazon, Google, uh, Microsoft, uh, Azure. So you're right, last week we did uh, make an announcement that we've done deep integration and we're spending our R&D dollars for customers that are investing with Google uh, to make those, those investments more valuable and uh, we announced API management and integration with Google uh, to make that easy for customers. Right. So, Informatical world, we announced uh, native integration on our iPaaS platform for Microsoft. So over and over again, you'll hear us continue to do more with the, the partners that our customers want us to. Right. And that's a win-win for everybody. It's just so funny too, because when people talk about a company like say Coca-Cola, which you brought up, they, they talk about like, like it's a company. It's like, no, it's not a company. Right. It's many, many companies, many, many projects, many, many, challenges, right. you know, it's not just one entity that has a relationship with one other entity. That's right. But the other thing I think is, is, is interesting times, and Coke's a good example, or Ford, or pick many old line industrial companies that used to have distribution, right? What was the purpose of distribution? Is to break bulk, is to communicate information, and to get the product close to the customer. But the manufacturer never knew what happened once they shipped that stuff off into their distribution. Now it's a whole different world. Mm -hmm. They have a direct connection with their end customer, they're collecting data from their end customer, and so they have a relationship and, a, and an opportunity and a challenge uh, with, that they never had before. They just sent it off to the distributor and, 
and off it went. Hopefully it doesn't come back for repair. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right, but, but you're exactly right. And that's the challenge that, that customers are facing. And I don't care if it's a customer in the mid-market or it's a customer in large enterprise or if it's a, a government organization. They need to know all aspects of their customer, partner, supplier, information and how to communicate globally if they're going to drive disruption. And, and one of the CIOs of Fortune 500 made the comment that we decided that we were going to disrupt ourselves before right. someone else right. disrupted us. Right. And that's that's my comment on why this is a board uh, board level discussion. It's, right. it's super important and, yeah. and we can help solve those problems. It's funny, uh, Dave Potrick, one of my favorite executives, used to be the number two guy at Charles Schwab. And I remember him speaking when they went to fixed price trading back in the day, I'm aging myself, unfortunately. But you know, he said the same thing, we have to disrupt ourselves before somebody else disrupts us. And if you're not thinking that way, if you're going to get disrupted, so better it be you than, than, than someone that yeah. you don't even see. And usually it's not your side competitor, it's the one coming from a completely different direction that you weren't even paying attention to. That's right, and, and we see that over and over again, and you made the, the right comment, and that it's not always easy. Some of these Fortune 500s through consolidation, even the Global 2000, they've done all these acquisitions, and so you've got hundreds of BUs that don't have any systems tied together, and right. how do you start to, to create a common connection so that you can build your brand and you can drive differentiation, uh, and, and that's the key. That's, that's back to the intelligent data platform. Right, and as you said, and there's not single systems, and now we've got API economy, things are all connected, so you don't necessarily even have that much d direct control over a lot of these opportunities. And I, you said at first, I think it's just like, okay, where's your data? <laughs> you know, can where's you start with a very simple question, and a lot of people aren't really sure and can't even start from there. That's right. So good opportunities. Absolutely, right, there's no Tracy. question. Well, thank you for uh, for stopping by. Congratulations on your uh, on your new position and moving from Mahogany Road down into uh, down into the trenches. And <laughs> I'm sure they're the going to be happy to have you down there uh, on the field. Yeah, no, thanks, Jeff. I'm happy to be here, and thanks for the time today. Thank you, and we'll see you uh, at Informatica World if uh, if not sooner. That's right. All That's right, she's Tracy Newell. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching the Cube from Palo Alto. Thanks for watching.